It is October 8th. We missed opening day of Duck, opening day of Upland. This has been, yeah, life has been getting in the way of my hunt life. I'm not cool with that. So you can't hunt till noon on a stocking day. They stock Thursdays and Fridays at certain spots and they don't tell you if they're gonna stock Thursday or Friday, but they only stock one one spot per day per, how do, how do I say this? They don't, if they stock on Thursday at, at this field, they will not stock on Friday. If they stock on Friday and you go to the field on Thursday, there will be no birds because, unless you find some weird holdover from last week. So, and they only stock three weeks out of the whole season. And they charge you $31 to hunt pheasants that were grown on a farm, which is, oh, I miss Montana. I really miss Montana right now. We're in New Hampshire. We're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna try and get Ruger out on something other than two geese and 70 pigeons. So I assume the place will be overrun with guys like me that wish they were in Montana. That is the situation that we're facing today. I know, buddy. I know. I know. We're on a dirt road. Good things happen on dirt roads, don't they? So they did stock today. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a thousand trucks. Not a thousand, but there's a lot of people up there. We are going to the other pheasant stocking site. So my dog is probably angry at me over there in the corner pouting because we're leaving but I just passed the pheasant stalking truck so we should limit today um, he's actually headed to the other pheasant stalking site and um, the two gentlemen that I talked to said there's usually less hunters at the other pheasant stalking site it's also more trees so I I don't want to get shot. I don't want him to get shot. I don't trust a lot of these dudes. Less hunters, more cover, more protection from pellets flying around. So that's the plan. But they are stalking today, so that's good. In this far north, we just don't get these birds out before that noon time. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. You want to release some yourself? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So yeah, if you'd like, I, I recommend pointing it away from you. Gotcha, because they're gonna come. Yeah, so these these flip up. Yeah. Have you have you done this before? No, I banded birds though. Okay. All right. These guys sometimes do little shit. The reason I stay away from you is because if they come up, you'll get one of those on you. Yep. So this is the pheasant release process. It's pretty fun. I mean, you get to like hear them crow and fly away, but stock birds. That is really cool, dude. Nice. Thanks. Hey, when's turkey season start? I haven't looked at those regs yet. Uh, it coincides with archery deer, so it's going right now for archery. I rode, either sex. I rode by like a whole bunch of turkeys. Yeah. No, I, 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 is that, I think that might, I don't know, that, is that the situation? Hey man, thanks. Absolutely. Appreciate it. That's cool. It, I'm, sh I'm sure I'll limit out. <laughs> Stay. So I thought this was going to be a much easier hunt. It turned out, um, it took me like 18 minutes to get on our first bird, and I was like, oh, they went right over there. Not a problem. We'll just go in there and shoot one. Um, they move a lot faster and further away from the release point than I initially thought. This guy just flew up in a tree. Good boy, and sat Ruger. How long do we have to sit here and look at this thing? Dog is right there. So I shot into the ground to spook him. That didn't oh work. God. I ended up um, throwing a shotgun shell and some sticks at him. Bird, that didn't work. He just sat there. Yep, there's one of the sticks. He's just like, whatever. And then I finally. I, this was the only bird I'd seen, so I finally was like, screw it, we'll just well, shoot him. we'll do one on the board, screw it. 
Ruger, fetch. Ruger was happy because he got to put his mouth on a bird, which is his whole function in life. Come. And then uh, we were able to put one up a little bit later, which was very cool. Good boy. Give, give. Maybe we can find one that'll actually fly for us. They don't ever stop being pretty, though. That's for sure. Good boy! Hey! Come. Hey, that's enough. Give. Give. Thank you. I know he's fighting. Hmm. You know, I hit that one just right. Ruger puts up a hen here, but we're limited out. The limit is two. Good he gets a little boy, frustrated, Ruger. as you can hear. It's pretty funny. Good boy. I know. It's terrible. That's a good boy. Good boy, Ruger. Good boy. I know. We're limited out, buddy. Good boy. These birds are so tame, it's not even funny. You can see I'm going to touch this one with my gun barrel. And then after I touch him, he'll finally get up. Good boy, Ruger! Hey, come! Did you get him? You got a wounded one? Do you have a dog? Oh, Ruger, fetch him up. Since these guys were dogless, I figured help him out, get Ruger on an extra bird since he was still trying to hunt. You can see right here, he finds this little hen. They were tickled. They just, the guy that Ruger's picking up Come. his bird right now, he was uh, just lost his lab last year, so he was excited Dude. to see a dog Come. picking up birds and having a good time. Give. Stay. My, my lab would do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, we kicked up like four over there, just the other side of the open spot. That's cool. I had a duck dog. I wouldn't that's, leave my side. That's what he is. He's a duck dog. Uh, he's doing pretty good for a duck dog. Right? Real good for a duck dog. <laughs> Ruger, come. Apparently, shooting them out of trees is the accepted local practice for these stock birds. You want him to go get it? Yeah, go ahead. Right. No, let him fetch it. I love to watch it. Fetch. Hey. Heal. Fetch. Scott, your dog used to do the same thing. Come! Hey, Stu. Actually, hit something. I know. You have to get to take the safety off first, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey! Give. Thank you, buddy. These are big birds. That's a big look at that one. Huh? Yeah. They're all ginormous. All right, buddy. You've had enough. Load up. Good boy. Did you have fun on the pheasants, buddy? You did, yeah. You like the pheasant hunting. So, yeah, that was the whole stock pheasant thing in New Hampshire. And it didn't feel more like hunting. We did try this little push for grouse behind the house. Um, we kicked up three, I saw one. Um, it's definitely more like hunting, but Ruger had a blast, so. That's why we took you out, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's still looking around.